Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So before you, you can see here a few of the solid silver items that I have found recently in a silver plate job lot from an auction house. Now generally what you'll find is if you're picking up metalware job lots or silver plate job lots on um, you know, a quite a frequent basis, you may find the odd bit of silver in there. I don't know why this is because generally the more valuable items will get taken out of the boxes um, and obviously put in the cabinet and then lotted up in that way at an auction house. However, I do think that maybe what one reason for this is that the auctioneer actually keeps a few of the silver items in a box of silver plate as kind of a little added bonus for the dealer who then wins the box. But I, I can't confirm that. I don't know if that's true or not. But it would be interesting to find out whether that's the truth or not. Um, or maybe just the odd silver item just gets left in the box by accident. Maybe that's the truth. But essentially you may find a few silver items in a box of silver plate. Now obviously it's important to identify silver um, opposed to silver plate because obviously silver will be worth more. So what I'm going to do in this video is just going to give you a short little guide to identifying a few of the silver hallmarks here in the UK. Now obviously this is not going to be a comprehensive guide. I'm not going to be doing any other tests. It's just simply a quick look at a few of the hallmarks I've got here on these items. So with that being said, we'll get on with this video and I will share with you a few of the hallmarks. Also at the end, I will be giving you the scrap price for all of these items here combined. Now that isn't to say I will be scrapping these items, far from, the, far, far from it. I'm not actually going to be scrapping these items, I'm actually going to be keeping these items as a long term investment because any silver I get from job lots like this is all, I always consider a bonus and I just sort of store it away. Some of the items if I were to sell, I would be selling as a decorative item or as the item itself. There may be the odd item in here that I may decide to scrap, but most of it I would be selling on its own for what it is. For example, this sort of pepper dispenser here and this dessert spoon as well as this uh, really nice pick pickle fork. I would never be scrapping something like that. But something that's maybe a little, li little bit less desirable here, not in the best condition, that might be something I might decide to scrap. So it just depends on what the item is. Um, but yeah, certainly I'll be doing that at the end as well. So without further ado, we shall get on with looking at a few of the hallmarks. So guys, before we get into this, I wanted to show you this little image of the assay offices. Now, this is essentially where the silver has been tested. So, obviously we've got different symbols in the form of hallmarks um, for different sort of places in the country. So we've got things like, you know, an anchor for Birmingham, a leopard's head of London, a castle for Edinburgh, a rose for Sheffield. However, the rose of Sheffield, um, I believe that changed in 1972 or 1974, I can't remember which year, um, but it changed to a rose, um, but previous to that year it was actually a crown for Sheffield, which you will actually see in a minute on one of these pieces. So hopefully you'll be able to see these um, hallmarks a little bit clearer on this image than some of the ones that I'll be able to show you now, because some of the hallmarks are rubbed off a little bit. But um, yeah, this is quite interesting. This will actually tell you, obviously, where it was um, assessed. The silver was actually tested. So it's quite interesting that. And then obviously, I will show you in more detail some of the hallmarks in a second. Hi guys, so here we are looking at the first piece. I apologize about the shakiness. I was holding the um, magnifying glass and the spoon at the same time while trying to film. Um, but yeah, so if you'd like to pause the video to sh stop the shakiness, um, then feel free to do so, and then obviously you can just have a look at the hallmarks a little bit clearer for yourself. Um, but we've actually got uh, a piece from Sheffield here, you can see that with the little crown mark. Um, so that's Sheffield, essentially um, that is, I believe it was before 1972, or it might have been before 1974. Next to it you've got the Lion Pessant. Um, which is just signifying that it is sterling silver. And then next to that, you've got the date letter, which obviously you can go and research further to tell you the exact date of that piece, of, well, the year of that piece was made, actually. And next to that, you've got a G Limited, which is just the maker's mark. So, just another quick example here. 
and you can see that we've got on the far left hand side the lion as normal and then in the middle we've got a leopard's head for London this time and then finally on the far right hand side we've got the date letter and then above it we've got the maker's mark. Now all this information that I'm showing you on these hallmarks you can actually obviously go onto the web and you can search this information and you'll be able to date this piece and you will obviously be able to find more information about the maker. So it is really good that the information that Hallmarks can actually give you. Obviously here we've got a spoon that's made in Birmingham. Uh, we've got the lion again as normal. And then we've got a date letter. Again, you could go away and you could date this piece. And you can see the maker's mark on the far left there. So you could get some more information about the maker. So yeah, Hallmarks are very important because obviously it gives you um, a lot more information once you do a little bit more digging of the actual item. I've uh, just got a couple of items up here next um, where the hallmarks are a little bit more worn and sometimes this can be the case because obviously some of these items are antique or some of these items are quite old at least so essentially these hallmarks can become worn um, obviously you can get a jeweler's loop you could get a magnifying glass to sort of counteract that a little bit and help you see the hallmarks and get the information you acquire finally we've got a, a little pickle fork again i believe made in birmingham but this one is a little bit harder to see and then we've got the maker's mark on the opposite side there as well so we are now going to actually weigh these items on the scales and see what sort of scrap value they have in total. So guys, we've got the scales ready. Obviously, it's on zero grams there. So we're just going to go ahead and put a few of the items on the scales. I'm sorry if the camera is a little bit shaky. You can see that spoon there is 72 grams. Um, we're going to put these other spoons on here. We're going to put up to 124 grams now. Put these on here, put the little uh, pepper dispenser on there, and then we've got another couple of spoons, let's see what we're looking at, 242, I'll just wait a second to see, that, see if that changes up or down any, nope, looks like it's stabilised at 242, so what I will do is actually put an estimate of the scrap value on the, on the page now, as I said, I'm not actually scrapping these now anyway, and I probably won't be scrapping them anytime in the future. As I mentioned, I'll be selling most of it for just what they are anyway, just put them on eBay. Um, but it's a good indication of what you can kind of get, what the price level of this stuff is. Um, and maybe, obviously, if I was to sell things individually, um, then I could get more for them anyway, a little bit more than scrap. So, yeah, it's a nice little indication. Um, and just as a bonus from a job lot, I'm more than happy um, with the amount of silver I've got there. And as I say, it's a nice little long-term investment. So, there we go. That is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So, I will see you very soon, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.